Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm getting ready to read for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. <clears throat> if this doesn't resonate with you, go ahead and check the other placements in your birth chart. Um, also, energies can be reversed. I could be reading um, your energy towards them or their energy towards you. Also, time is fluid. This could have already happened, is happening now, or will happen in the future. Alright, what do we have for the sign of Gemini? I'm going to pull some fairy oracles for you first, and then I'm going to get into the tarot. We have the sign of Gemini. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Let me get another one. One more for Gemini, please. Venus signs. We have for the sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. We have friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So this card is all about finding your tribe, your soul tribe, people that are um, compatible to you, friends, romance, family, um, going on your soul journey, people that uh, have a very important part of your journey, your spiritual journey. And then we have transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. See? So you're going to be embracing new things, um, transforming, changing, and then you're going to have some friends behind you doing the same thing. You guys could be working together and doing things in a project, maybe, Gemini. Okay, not bad. We're going to get into the tarot for you. What do we have for the air sign of Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for the air sign of Gemini? Spirit. What do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Cutting the deck for Gemini. And at the bottom of the deck we have... Eight of Wands. Okay. Fire energy. King of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. We have the Justice card. Libra energy. Ace of Pentacles. Earth sign energy. Three of Wands. Fire energy again. Queen of Cups. Water energy. Eight of Pentacles. Earth energy. Ace of Wands. Fire. And Six of Pentacles. Earth. Okay. Alright, Gemini. I'm hearing uh, someone becoming determined to balance something out with you, Gemini, or this could be you towards someone else. Keep in mind, readings don't always have to be romantic unless, you know, the proof is in the pudding. We'll see what cards come out. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, let's see. Why is Ace of Wands here for Gemini? Ace of Wands for Gemini. Thank you. We have the Four of Wands come out for the Ace of Wands. Okay. That's good. Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. Thank you. The Devil card. Alright. Queen of Cups for Gemini. What's this Queen of Cups about? Thank you. Alright, we have the Ten of Wands and the World card. This came out for someone else too in the same spot. So, um, I'm getting the energy of someone. 
I don't feel like they're walking away from someone, but I think they're they're trying to distract themselves with other things right now. They're turning their back on something. The four of wands, or I'm sorry, three of wands here. The three of wands for Gemini. Thank you. We have the Queen of Cups, water energy, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Gemini. Do you see someone off in the distance that you want to offer your cup to? Oh, yep. We have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. I'm thinking that you're looking at someone else. Someone wants to come towards you with an offer, but I feel like it's coming off toxic to you. Hold on, let's see. Who's this King of Wands about? Yeah. <clears throat> We have this King of Wands here with this Five of Wands. I feel like, okay. For some of you, I feel like when you get into, whenever you get into contact with this person, you sort of um, always fight with this person. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini? Six of Pentacles for Gemini, thank you. How many cards? Three. All right, so we have eight of cups, six of cups, and the king of pentacles. What is this? Am I picking up their story too, along with your story? This person has people around them. This person has people around them, and... you're sort of waiting on the outskirts for this person and you see potential with them you want you want this new start why is justice here for gemini king of wands i'm feeling this energy of like someone coming towards you but you're moving away from them but it's like you you want them still like what what is that And on the other side, this person is walking away from things in their past. They could be in a commitment already. Wow, this is deep already. Wow. We have the Eight of Pentacles here for Gemini. Why is that here? This wanted to come out. Two of Cups. Someone makes wants to make effort in a relationship here, and you're trying to distract yourself from the relationship here. Someone sees you as um, commitment type, and you see them as commitment type, but you're wondering what's going on. But at the same time, you're staying in tune with yourself. And meanwhile, this person is going through certain things, and you're like, we have the Queen of Cups twice. This is someone that's in really in tune with their emotions. I don't know if this is you or them. I'm thinking it's more of you in this case. King of Wands energy is them because they're the ones going through something karmic. They're the ones trying to set things right and you're um, off in the distance trying to keep yourself together. You're doing a really good job. like You really are. But you're waiting and you could be working on a project or something. They're obsessed with you. I'm hearing all kinds of things. Like they're, They could be watching you. We're going to clarify. Uh, we're not going to clarify, but we're going to um, pull some romance angels. Let's see what happens when I pull these out. What else would I hear? But I feel like you're still in the midst of this person's energy, but you're seeing this as a burden, and you kind of want to close it out but you're still there. And this person has to close out something with another person. And they could be in conflict in their head and with other people about that when it comes to ending it. What? What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Someone writing Venus signs. Thank you. We have passion 
Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You guys have a lot of passion for each other. I think that's what this devil card here is for. The king of wands comes off as very passionate. We have this ace of wands, very passionate. Of course, yeah. You guys have passion for each other. You have passion for this person. They have passion for you. But I just feel like there's burdens in the way. There's things in the way. We need two more for Gemini. Something right in Venus signs. I need two cards for Gemini. And things are moving fast. I feel like in this energy, this person wants to move fast with you. That could also be this devil energy here. This passion here for, thank you. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys are going to enjoy time together. I feel like as soon as all this bad energy gets out of the way oh oh okay four more cards came out you deserve love you're lovable this person knows that you deserve love they're coming towards you they see you as the queen of cups you're the queen of cups right that's someone nurturing and loving and in touch with her emotions she's emotionally balanced then we have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so if this is what you're waiting for this is your answer there's an engagement in the mist. Yeah. I feel I feel that way with this. Uh, I feel like this is what you've been waiting for. Like, that's the queen waiting on her solid offer. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah. You guys have feelings for each other. And let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Whatever energy they have around them, it's going to clear out. They're going to get away from it. They have to close it out. The divine is telling them to close it out. And it will close out. You just have to stay in your your um, element. That's what I wanted to say. Alright, Gemini. That was your reading. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if it resonated for you. Thank you. Bye.